back behind the wheel yet again. What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug. Welcome back to Let's Mess with BeamNG.Drive. Guess what? New version of the Alpha 0.9.0.1, I believe it says that here on the screen. And that means some new scenarios and some, you know, updates on the engine and etc, etc. So let's hop into some of these new scenarios here and this new vehicle. It's a Jeep. There are about seven new scenarios. You see here, the hopper is the new bit of business in this game. But obviously, obviously, we start with the canyon jump because that should go terribly wrong. If you are not familiar with BeamNG.Drive, it is a game with an incredibly realistic soft body physics for the vehicles, which means everything smashes up real, real nice. Uh, and there is a lot of uh, fantastic destructibility. I messed that up pretty bad. So it always goes into that camera right there, and yeah, that went uh, about as well as you would expect the first try to go. Lost a tire, smashed it up. No, it's fine. It's fine. I'm still going. I can still, I can still accelerate. It's fine. No, I'm missing. I can still turn. Look, I can still turn the tire. That's you know, quality. So we have some suggested speeds here to make the two jumps. Uh, when I played on, on my own, I was only able to get over that first jump, and the truck, the, the van here, was so badly damaged that. The second jump didn't matter. I couldn't even make it there because making it over the first jump already is like right there. And then, nope, nope, nope. Boom. Squish it like a bug. That's kind of not going to be uh, salvageable, I would imagine. So we can try dash cam, which kind of is the whole point of having this wheel here, is to do the dash cam. But uh, as soon as you get close enough here, it's going to go into this thing. And, you know, you can still make it. Uh, it's not a problem, but, uh, this is gonna be, yup, 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 that's about what, it's a little harder to kind of adjust on the fly there when, uh, that happens. Got a hood cam, got a relative cam, got an external cam, yeah, it's fine. I just don't have a drive shaft, so I can't really do much of anything, but, you know, it's cool. I can get the camera here with my controller. Oh, there's, there's a door, there's a door. I can go here to the chase cam and use the controller to uh, move around and see kind of, you know, the extent of the damage is pretty good. So we'll give it a few more shots here, but I was not able to get past this first, like, I got over the first jump once and then was able to salvage the landing, but uh, past that, like, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Um, but I hit this checkpoint and then than that, right? So I'm gonna take a little spin around here. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna hope all my tires are functional. Like, I don't know if you need the momentum from that first jump to make a second jump. Like, you don't need it. Oh, well. Well, that was extraordinarily unfortunate and completely unintentional. So, man, and I was doing so good. Unintentional rock bullshit uh, is the worst bullshit. Uh, how could I have known there was a rock there? It was under a bush. So we gotta kind of aim in that. That seems to be a good. But just being able to get over and then a me. Oh, see that's yep drive shaft broken. So it's not gonna matter now, is it? In any event, even when I've gotten. To the part where I got the second jump, I haven't made that jump at all, so we're just gonna hop out here into the next scenario. Now, I'm not going to play all the way through this one, because it's not terribly interesting. It is literally get this tow, uh, tow this car to a location, head through 13 checkpoints. Uh, it's not, you know, it's, it's functional, uh, and, you know, I'm sure you could have some fun getting a, uh, you know, a time on that thing. Um, there we go. But it's not like super interesting to sit here and do a YouTube video of. You know, you're kind of just going through these roads. They're, you know, a little bit windy and, uh, you know, it's not super difficult, or at least it wasn't super difficult when I was playing it with a controller. Uh, I'm not sure if playing it with a actual steering wheel would be any more or less 
difficult, uh, but you kind of get the idea, you know, you kind of just go from point to point here down these roads in like Utah or wherever it's supposed to be and, you know, maintain the proper speeds and, you know, whatever. You know what? Screw that though. We want to crash. Yeah. That's what, oh, failed. It's too damaged. I want to watch it smash up. That's kind of like, you should give me the option. Don't make the whole thing dim out. Give me the option to see this part where I can't see it and cool shit's happening in the background. I can move the camera um, a little bit and kind of see a little bit, but it's not not, not, really, but not really what you want. Anyway, scenarios. Stop the beam calm van. Let's just lose control here and deflect the tire and flip the whole car. And you know, it's cool because we're just going to restart, so whatevs. Alright, so, yes, I gotta go that way. And you can kind of see the van in there. It's in the distance. Uh, there it is. Stop the criminal. Yeah, I totally missed that first checkpoint before. Um, but yeah, these, these cop cars in this game, like, even with the controller, they're squirrely. And I'm hoping at some point, oh, I'm hoping at some point we get, like, full profiles for racing wheels for this game because it's just I don't know I feel like it could be better and I'm sure if I actually spent the time to really really fine-tune it uh, it would be better in some capacity but even the vehicles that feel good occasionally you get ones that are just really hard to control and uh, you know perhaps that's fun for some folks but uh, or, or per, 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 perhaps that is you know the right amount of quote-unquote realism for some folks uh but for me give me an arcade mode where it's just fun see that's not fun that's not fun and he's getting away and i can't failed failed screw it the 200 bx tends to spin out very easily go easy with the pedal i'm like yeah sure fine but also it's chase so you can't go that easy because you know the criminal's gonna get away and he's gonna you know escape with his crimes and they will go unpunished. That's not cool. So ideally you would catch the dude uh, or, you know, smash into him or whatever else. Uh, but if your car is just... Nope, see? That's... You can't floor it because you're going to spin out. But if you don't floor it, they're going to get away. So what's the solution there? Anyway, let's get to the hopper aka the Jeep here. Um because that is definitely uh, the new addition here in this new patch for this game. And, uh, you know, as they head further and further into their early access campaign, and then, you know, eventually we'll get, you know, whatever the full release is with a, with a full single-player deal and all that stuff. I'm not like, really sure how that's actually going to take shape, but uh, considering I bought the damn thing, I am definitely interested in seeing how it ends up taking shape because you know some of this stuff is fun you know and i do oops that was the wrong button i wanted to go first person that's what i wanted and i totally hit the wrong button uh here we go this is this, this is this is this is what i want in that first person you know unfortunately i don't have a track ir and i don't even know if this game supports track ir um but if it did then perhaps that would be an, an interesting uh investment uh, I've already in, in I have already invested a lot into this whole setup in the first place but you know any further immersion is good uh, and I do like kind of driving around here in like middle of the woods in this Jeep is pretty cool trying to not hit trees is always good uh, I would like some sick jumps but you know I understand that they're being Realistic and sick jumps would totally break your damn suspension. So I get it. What I'm saying is, give me an arcade mode with, uh, you know, the damage model, because that'd be, you know, I basically I want Burnout 2 crash mode. Perhaps one day someone will, re will, will realize uh, that's what people want, or at least that's what I want. Uh, and perhaps that, that's not enough of, you know, a demand, but uh, I think that that's a very well-regarded bit bit of business uh, from, you know, 15 years ago at this point. Uh-oh, some water. Water hazard. Oh, no. Rock hazard. The rock hazard. It doesn't matter. 
what the hazard is. Head, yep, yep, yep. That's fine. I made it through in one piece. Uh, it's a little, I think I damaged the car a little bit, or the, the Jeep a little bit, or the hopper. If you want to be, you know, factual with what it's called, because, you know, they, they don't have any licensed vehicles in this game. Hopping around. Don't go too fast. The terrain is quite tough. There is a high-low range box. I don't know what button that is, so that's really uh, not going to help me because I would imagine I would have to map that to this controller, uh, and uh, I have not done that. So the high-low range gearbox uh, is perhaps... I should, I should put that on the, um, the, the paddles here on this controller. Uh, definitely a thing to look into uh, for the next video on mapping my controller, because uh, I don't really know what that means. Uh, you know, car stuff. Oh, that's not... Make it! Make it! Nope. So much for hopping around. And the final scenario here is Climbing Utah. Again, the high-low range box. I don't have time to really mess around with right now, but that's something to keep in mind. Uh, and drive slowly and carefully as we just climb up this is the thing people actually do, which I've seen, you know, the YouTube videos, and it's insane to me that you would put your vehicle through those kinds of stresses. But, you know, it's a challenge, and humanity loves a good challenge. So I can understand, you know, why would you do it? Because it's there. Um, so we'll try to go as far as we can here, uh, but having played this with a controller, and it was pretty hard there, uh, I can't imagine it's going to be any easier with this racing wheel but you can see it's already gonna get a little bit floor it yes it's already gonna get a little bit squirrely yep here we go just sheer rock just how in the blue hell is this it's a logistical logistical nightmare and I would imagine the the high low range box comes into play here as we attempt to get the wheel and do it do it do it Pick it up! Pick it up! Yes! Phenomenal. I can't believe I actually made that and did it on camera. So, quality software. I love it. It's so good. Alright, let's uh, uh, see if we can hit the second checkpoint. We hit the first checkpoint. Uh, this is the one that I didn't make it on with the controller. It just, it didn't quite play out like I had hoped it would play out. Um, so, we're gonna cut here and then just cut here and hope we can yep 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 got it got it and now I Arr! nope I'm just losing grip here I'm just losing grip and that's where we were at last time just nope on your side and that is can I cause it to four wheel drive motherfuckers four wheel drive is not helping me at all Unfortunate. Oops, I hit the button to reset. That's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh well, what are you going to do? Anyway, I'm a tax slug. This is Let's Mess With BeamNG.Drive. Still being updated, it's still in early access. I still think it is a hell of a piece of software. And I'm very curious to see how it pans out in the future. And I'll be sure to come back and mess with it some more when they update it some more. So, until then, and until next time. I'll see you next time, and every day for more videos right here on this channel. Hawk, hawk, and I'm out!